What's going on, YouTube? You're back with Shades, and we're going to continue our Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII. We are Miss Cloud, and we're going to go into Don Corneo's mansion to, to potentially save Tifa. So let's get started. I spent the entire last episode just, like, accessorizing. So Cloud looks beautiful in there. So look, Cloud looks beautiful. Damn, your friend's hot, too. Come in, come in. Two ladies coming through. Hello, ladies. I'll go and let the Don know you're here. Wait here. Don't wander around. We're gonna wander around. Now's our chance. Let's find Tifa. I know where she is. She's in the dungeon for some reason. The weird sex dungeon. For some reason. Also, is it is the at perspective like really oddly skewed in here? Seriously, this is a, like a freaking sex dungeon. <laughs> I'm not into kinky shit, but this makes me uncomfortable. So this makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Tifa? Nice to meet you. I'm Aerith. Cloud's told me a lot about you. And you are? You're the one with Cloud in the park. Right, with Cloud. Oh. Don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. What do you mean, don't worry? About what? No, don't misunderstand. Cloud and I grew up together. Nothing more. Poor Cloud, having to stand here and listen to us both call him nothing. Right, Cloud? Cloud? Seriously, he doesn't look that much different just because he has makeup on. Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? And what are you doing here? Never mind, what happened to you after the fall? Are you hurt? Slow down, let me answer. I'm from Freaking Soldier. I'm fine. I'm dressed like this because there was no other way to get in here. Alright, I'm alright. Aerith helped me out. Oh, Aerith did. Tifa, explain to me what you're doing in a place like this. Yeah, um... <laughs> I'll just plug my ears. Moogles, Moogles, Moogles! She's so young. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks. What happened? We got back from the Sector 5 reactor. We saw a weird man. Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when the Don's name popped up. Right, Don Corneo. Barrett told me to leave the Lech alone. But something's been bothering me. I see, so he wanted the story straight from Corneo's mouth. Well, I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Corneo's looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then... Well... Anyway, I had to be the girl for tonight. Uh, it's funny, because I think I, 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 did, I wasn't looking, but I think, like, uh, Aerith went like... <laughs> Sorry, but I ever heard. If you know the three girls, there's no problem, right? I guess so, but... We have two here, right? No, Aerith, I can't involve you. Oh, so it's alright for Tifa to be in danger? No, I don't want Tifa in... Is it alright? I grew up in the slums. I'm used to danger. Do you trust me? Yeah, thanks, Miss Aerith. Call me Aerith. Hey, hey... <coughs> Trying to the, the sultry, uh, ugly man. It's time, ladies. Oops, my mother is calling. Give me a split second. All right, sorry guys, but sorry about that, guys. I'm back. My mom just called. It's time, ladies. The dawn is waiting. I told you not to wander around. I tell you, women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? And why? It's like Tifa in like a really sultry pose. I, eh. Oh, I should adjust this camera. Oh, God, I almost dropped it again. There you go. I guess I don't need to ask, but the other girl is me, right? <coughs> You're right, you didn't need to ask. Look at these strong, independent women. I respect women. <laughs> Are they going to look again out of my way? Huh, you know, you don't look bad if you don't look closely. I wonder what Barrett would say if he could see it. Probably laugh his ass off. Sorry. They're going to get suspicious if we don't hurry. You're right. Let's go. I have fused. Let's just uh, give Tifa her um, well, quip. Let's give Tifa her metal knuckle and the titan bangle and uh, oops, materia fire all 
Actually, no, fuck it. Materia, I will give the all one to Aerith, because, like, healing is more important than damage, right? Plus, I don't think anyone right now, any enemies right now are weak against fire. Alright, hello, big man. Let's go. It's time. Let's see if I can still do this guy's voice. Because I gave him a voice earlier. I'm just not sure if I can do it. Alright, ladies. Line up in front of the dot. And they come out of my being. Hmm, good. Splendid. Now let's see. Which girl should I choose? Hmm. Hmm. This one. Oh, this one. <laughs> Cloud's trying so hard to hide his face. I've made my decision. My choice for tonight is... What? What? What the hell? Do I have to use the items? Is that what I need to do? Because I have all the items. I should have been chosen. The hell's wrong with you? This slender girl. Don, you've got great taste. You can have the rest. Sir, thank you, sir. I'm gonna reload, because I, I want to make sure that I win. Because it's fucked up. I should have won. I, I should have won. Do I, did I have to use the items? What? Is, that, is it like random? Because I did everything. I should have been chosen. That's not fair. I know how to get out of here. It's just... Uh, I expect it to be chosen. You guys, we got guests. We'll take real good care of you. It's all thanks to the big boss, Don Corneo. Hey, three cheers for Don Corneo. <laughs> well, ladies, are we uh, all uh, ready? Uh, can I, like, get out of here? I want to reload that. I want to... I wanna... Hold on. Item. Key items. No, I just have it. But I have, but I have everything. Is there a reason why I wasn't selected? Was I, did I have to wear like a specific like dress? Hold on, let me look this up. Cause I, I, I feel like I got gypped here. I went all out on this. This is, this is, uh, this is fucked up. Oh. So the best ones would be silk dress, blonde wig, sexy cologne, diamond tiara. And the lingerie, which doesn't really matter. And then makeup, but like... Oh god, I went with a... What, what dress do I have? I think I have the... Satin dress. Ha! Ah. Well, shit. I guess if I... if I, I guess like, all these items just increase your chances of being chosen. Oh well, I'm already here. So, might as well just do whatever I gotta do. Talk to him again. Talk to him again. Hello? Out of my way. Hello? How do I how do I get out of here? I, this is Okay, come on. Is there like a do I have to talk to all of them and then leave? Oh wait, there's an item in the room. Phoenix down. There's a broken ass TV. I'm flattered, but no thanks. Because because, because, I ain't interested in a bunch of scum like you. Also, I'm a man. <laughs> what? A man? God damn, don't even get out of this. Get him. Beat the shit out of him. One thing I really wish is that this game was faster. Like, the combat was faster. Because, like, I know that's going to increase as, like, I level up characters, but I just wish it was faster. Yeah, come on. What's the matter with you good for nothings? All right, now, come on. I'll show you how it's done. And then three more guys come after me. Do I have a grenade? I feel like I should have a grenade. Do I have a grenade? No, I don't have a grenade. Shame. Damn, I was really hoping I was gonna get chosen by Don Corneo. Thought I did it right. 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. I failed you. Why are we gonna use the limit? Oh well. Gotta push it. I'm so sorry, guys. I meant to get chosen by Don Cornea, but I guess I wasn't hot enough. Just like in real life. <laughs> oh, there's a limit leveled up. Any other item I'm missing? No. Okay, cool. Cool. Cloud! Why, why was Tifa in the sex dungeon? Tifa, are you, you alright? Of course. If you take me lightly, you're gonna pay for it. Let's go. Into the boudoir. Woohoo! Come, come, don't be so shy. Y yes, but Mr. Don, I'd like you would explain something to me first. Of course, my dear. I'll take you through it slowly, step by step. So come on. Why does it squeak? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. No, stop, just wait a second. Why does it squeak? Come, come. Ooh, I can't wait any longer. Here comes Papa. You're right, I am in the room. <laughs> Cloud! What the hell? Who's there? I'm sorry, Don. What? Shut up. We're asking the questions now. What did your assistants find out? Talk. If you don't tell us... I'll chop it off. No, not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. So talk. I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was. That's what I was ordered to do. By whom? No, if I told you that I'd be killed. Talk, if you don't tell us. I'll rip it off. Wow, Aerith. Nice. <laughs> it was Heidegger of Shinra. Heidegger, the head of peace preservation. The head of peace preservation? Did you say Shinra? What are they up to? Talk. If you don't tell us. I'll smash it. You're serious, aren't you? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around here either, you know. Shinra's trying to crush a small rebel group called Avalanche and want to, and want to infiltrate the hideout. And they're really going to crush them, literally, by breaking the supports holding up the plate above them. Break the supports? You know what's going to happen? The plate will go ping! And everything's going to go BAM! Here are the hideouts in the Sector 7 slums. I'm just glad it's not here in Sector 6. They're going to wipe out the Sector 7 slums. Cloud, will you come with me to Sector 7? Of course, Tifa. Let's go. Just a second. Shut up. No, wait, it'd only take a second. Why'd you think scum like me babbled on about the truth? Because... Because I'm sure I'll win. Woohoo! Right. And trapdoor we go. And he dances. At least he's not squeaking anymore. And there's a little bit of a cutscene. It's okay, we got ten minutes left. Why is Shinra's office this big? It doesn't need to be this big. How are the preparations going? <laughs> smoothly, very smoothly. I assign the Turks to this. President, are you really going to do this? Simply destroy a group with only a few members. What's the problem, Reeve? You want out? Mm. No. But as the head of the Urban Development Department, I've been involved in the building and running of Midgar, that's why... Reeve! Flush your personal problems with the rest of your crap. The mayor's against this anyway. Mayor? He, he just sits in this building all day feeding his face. How could you call that a mayor? Now if you'll excuse me, sir. <laughs> You're tired. Why don't you take a couple of days off and go somewhere? Perhaps the Golden Saucer. I heard it's awesome there. What a great amusement park. We'll destroy Sector 7 and report that Avalanche did it. Then we'll send in the rescue operation Care of Shinra Incorporated. <laughs> this is perfect. By the way, I'm basing my voices around... Uh, TFS is machine abridged because uh, I'm not good at voice acting or <laughs> or <laughs> making voices. You all right? 
Yeah. Let me get that item first before I pick them both up. It's a potion. Boogie woogie woogie. Oh, no. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I, This is a different recording session. Uh, let's just get started. I only have like 10 minutes left in the part. Let's go. You all right? Man, this is terrible. You all right? Yeah. Well, the worst is over. I would never say that. You did the thing, Aerith. Maybe not. And now we have that big giant monster fight. Let's see. I think you're weak against lightning, right? Don't need that yet. And then uh, we're gonna use some fire. Also, my friend Advo, who graciously in the comments told me how to speed up battles, so now they're gonna be a little bit faster now, which is great, in our opinion. Cross slash! Ooh, a lot of fire damage. That's surprising, I thought this guy'd be weak against light lightning. But no, it's like he's a lot fire damage is a lot. Yeah, fire damage is more than the lightning. Surprising. Let's try Let's try ice. Oh he stomped us! Stop using that move, please! Oh, okay, yeah, we win. Cool. See, that fight was a lot faster than if I went at normal speed. Thank you, Adva, for giving me that advice. Because, like, the, the one thing that annoys you about this game a little, a little bit is that, like, the co like everything takes a bit too long. It's too late. Marlene, Barrett, the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy the pillar, right? Yeah, you're right. We still have time. Fuse into my body. Get on the ladder. Now, come on, let's go. Let's go save Sector 7. We're not gonna save Sector 7. Use that limit cloud. Push it. Push it to the limit. Okay, he did. What's a hyper do? All right, then let's go. Come on, down the ladder, please. Come on, clap. Ooh, a steel material. Any over here? Nope. And jump down because we've got to hurry. We're landing there. Okay, cool. But yeah, I've already been through this part, and like to be fair, it's it, like the only thing like that kind of annoys me is that like it's RNG based because I I played a lot of um open world RPGs where it's like, um... Aerith, I got you mixed up in this. Don't tell me to go home. We get, if we just get past the trains that are lit up, we should be able to get out of here. But like, like I was saying, um... Um, I've used uh, JRPGs, like the modern ones, where like the monsters are already on the field, and if you touch them, then you then you like, um, freaking, uh, uh, then you can like heckin' um, do stuff. Then you you then you battle. But like the old RNG isn't bad. Uh, hold on, how do I get? Fuck. Alright then, how do I get out of here? Uh... Do that again. This is on the other side, right? Somewhere? Oh wait, no, ladder, alright. I forgot how to do this place. Yeah. High potion. This is gonna be annoying!
You know what, guys? I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I, I have to end this part really soon because uh, I only had 10 minutes left on the part. Uh, but, like, I, I admit, it's not. this hasn't been all uh, recording, so I might go a little longer. But the thing is, like, uh, the next bit's going to be a cutscene, that much I know. So I might just end the part here and um, just meet you at the other end of this train station. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me or from the series, hit that subscribe button. If you're not, and you're not using the Shadyverse, my name is Shades, and I hope you've enjoyed your day in the Shades. See you guys next time. Bye.